In add underscoration to being connected with an Ethernet network cable, the ME31 series can also use the RS-485 serial port to realize the acquisition, transmission and control of analog switching values. Now we will take the ME31 AAAX2240 product as an example to explain in detail how to use RS-485 for device debugging. We first download the configuration tool from the official website of Ebyte. Find the product center, enter ME31 in the product model search, find the product model that needs to be configured, and click to enter. Find the relevant download, and download the configuration tool. Use a USB to RS-485 converter, and connect the AB ports of the converter to the 485 AB ports of the ME31. Connect to the 8-28B power supply, plug the USB into the computer, and plug in the power supply. When you see the status of D underscore I and AI ports, it starts successfully. After successfully connecting to the computer, the software will automatically match the port. After confirming that it is correct, open the serial port, click to search for devices, and click on the device to be configured, then the connection is successful. Refresh all data to view the current status of the device. ME31 has D underscore I input. We use a switch to simulate actual usage, and the switch is connected to D underscore I and GND. When we press the switch, we can see that the state of the D underscore I port changes on the OLED screen. After checking the configuration tool to refresh the data, we can see that the status of D underscore I1 has changed. ME1 has D underscore I filtering function, and the filtering range of 1 to 16 milliseconds can be set. D underscore I counting function can set rising edge, falling edge, and level trigger mode. The DO port can implement three modes, level, pulse, and follower. The pulse mode can support 50 to 65,535 milliseconds, the follow mode can follow the D underscore I port status, the level mode can be switched manually. After saving the settings, change the working mode to follow mode. We use an AC light bulb to simulate actual usage. One end of the AC light bulb is connected to the COM1 port of ME31, the AC live wire is connected to the NO1 port of ME31, and the neutral wire is connected to the light bulb. Press the switch to see the bulb turn on, turn off the switch and the bulb goes off. Then we connect the light bulb to the DO2 terminal. Open the configuration tool, change the DO2 working mode to pulse mode, and change the pulse width to 3000 milliseconds. After the save is successful, open the DO2 interface in the configuration tool, and you will see that the light bulb will automatically turn off after 3 seconds. We use the signal transmitter to simulate using the AI function, and the output port and GND port of the signal transmitter are respectively connected to the AI1 and GND ports of ME31. Use a signal transmitter to generate 5 mA current. You will see that the ME31 OLED D underscore display shows an input current of about 5 mA. Open the configuration tool to refresh the AI and you can see that there is also a 5 mA current input. We change the current to 6 mA, and we can see that the ME31 and the configuration tool have also changed accord underscoringly. Enter the advanced settings in the configuration tool, you can de-underscore directly read and set the parameters of the serial port and ethernet of the device. ME31 OLED D underscore display screen, in add underscore issue to D underscore I directly seeing D underscore I and AI information, you can also see the configuration parameters of the network that has been opened. Long press the confirmation key to set Ethernet, Chinese, and English, etc. ME31 series products can be connected with other devices through RS-485 bus. If you use an Ethernet cable to connect, Please refer to ME31 series Ethernet debugging tutorial.